r slash ask reddit what is trendy right now that will be embarrassing in five years time thick heavily penciled in eyebrows it must be five years into the future already based on reddit comments on the issue lol i can only hope so i just think they look ridiculous the pencil thin ones were just as bad though trendy hairstyles are almost always cringy after a few years i for one think that bleach tips will make a rousing comeback hi guy fairy how do i get to flatter town I saw a guy in the street the other day wearing an XXL flannel shirt with XXS flannel leggings. So hopefully that. That seems rather comfy and fluffy. It should be at Onishi. R slash street where we out here. Movies and TV shows with really dark lighting and actors speaking really quietly. E. G. Luke Cage. Ozark. Bloodline. It's trendy right now because it's gritty and serious. But seriously, I can't see or hear a damn thing on these shows. Characters just sit around in dark rooms whispering to each other. Basically the only reason I use the captions on Netflix, that, and to make sure I can still follow the dialogues through the crunching of my chips. I really wish shows stopped doing that, especially if you're watching a show on regular cable then right after the scene a commercial comes on blaringly loud. It scares the bejesus out of me. Microtransactions from major gaming companies. Dot. JK they will never stop. Comma. Here is interesting but sad comment about MTX. TLDR. Unless people stop purchasing entire games outright. And not just resorting to ignoring MTX after buying the game. The small fraction of players who buy into these systems will always dictate that games revolve around a system of MTX. The only way for us to counteract the huge incentives these companies make by including MTX is by making them lose out on far larger amounts by having masses of people refusing to pay the initial $60 for the game in the first place. If not, we've got a dreadful future to look forward to in the gaming community. TL. Doctor. Bully your rich friends who pay off microtransactions transactions. That one dude had a good point. Into not buying the game. Dabbing. It's lame now, but it's still trendy to two men it. I always thought people were doing it ironically. People do it when they dance? Pretty sure it's ironic. I'm gonna have to say the really weird dank memes. I love them, but I could see them being cringy in a while. Every dank meme today is cringy the next day. Next day next hour. You know how adverts keep spamming emoji and hashtags on their adverts to be down with the kids? That. That is going to be seen in the same way as sunglasses and backward baseball caps are today. R slash follow kids. Edgy. Overstyled cars. Looking right at you. Toyota. Seriously why does every new car nowadays have angry headlights? Angry headlights. LOL you just perfectly explained the way new cars look these days. That's literally the reason why they look like that. Headlights already look like eyes, and they're trying to make them look angry or happy based on what kind of car it is. YouTube. The most entertaining online content creators are on the platform, which has a user base of hundreds of millions of people, but it is moving closer to the network TV model. Recent. Ish. Monetization and content rules have begun molding creators content for their financial gain at the expense of their style originality. Videos intended for adult audiences must often be sensitive about light-hearted NSFW content, mild swearing, light sexual jokes, etc, or be demonetized. Many creators stretch their content thin to reach 10 minutes. So they can increase their ad revenue. YouTube Red has set the precedent for YouTube as a paid service. Something that goes against the core virtues of the service for many people. Some YT Red shows are even network sponsored because their audience is so large that significant money can be generated from viewers. YouTube TV now offers your favorite channels without the cable subscription. Great. Right? It may be an economically sensible buy for you the consumer, but it puts YouTube's foot in the door to making a poor free user experience and converting to an entirely paid platform. Creators like CR1T Cow, C Show, C Nanas, Optimum Tech, Rags, Chubby Moo, Hardware Unboxed, and many more make self-driven, genuine, entertaining content. 
the number of said creators and their content quality will decrease when YouTube morphs into essentially a TV network ISP hybrid. YouTube has seen its heyday, and I believe it will only deteriorate now from the robust content platform that it claims to be. That's a shame. YouTube is my go-to for learning new crafts techniques. I imagine those videos will stay and continue coming, because they have educational purpose and don't have any vulgarity. My issue is that in the beginning of YouTube we could go watch any music video or any interview or any stupid comedy video, and not worry about censoring. Now copyrights and monetization have sucked the fun out of it. I mean I still love YouTube, but it being bought out by Google might have given it a slow death. I'm going purely on a hunch here but I think rose gold is going to look dated and tacky as duck in a few years time. Don't get me wrong, I already think it's tacky, it just seems to have an air about it that it won't age well at all. Edit, just because you like it doesn't mean it's not tacky. The stranger things of the 2010s will be covered in rose gold aesthetic, with ukulele clapping ohhohhs in the background. Ukulele clapping ohhohhs don't worry, overprotective moms, this product is safe and natural, for your precious loved one. YouTube rappers. All these depression and anxiety memes, truly the lol so random xd humor of this era. A significant fraction of teenagers have always, and always will, celebrate their own miserable depression. Comma thinking this is exclusive to teens. Using makeup to get your lips to look fuller and looking like a dog that just ate a bee. It looks like a child wasn't taught to color inside the lines when they do an outline on their skin to make their lips look bigger. Heavy contouring for everyday makeup. I don't do heavy contour for everyday but I do enjoy sometimes stepping up my everyday makeup a notch for fun. For me, it's like an art meditating, doing my makeup, and I really enjoy it. It absolutely isn't one of those things for anyone else if anyone ever gave me lip about my makeup I'd honestly tell them to duck off lol. But makeup is for me. You see, I like nice, natural looking girls. Points to picture of girl with a full face of makeup almost any man who criticizes makeup. Anyone who says fake news towards obviously real news. Oh but anything that confirms my opinions is factual news but anything that goes against it must be fake news. For women's fashion, cold shoulder tops. For men's fashion, really tight pants. I was out buying sweaters the other day. Almost every single one had holes in the sleeves and or shoulders. On a sweater, I don't even get the point of having a sweater if your shoulders are literally cold. Fashion has never been about utility, darling. Sex offenders elected to US government positions. It's not trendy now. It's literally always been this way. Look up the stuff JFK or LBJ, and I'd assume many before them, did. Hopefully now we can make progress getting these people out of positions of power, but this is nothing new. I'd like to point out that just because something will be embarrassing in a few years is a poor reason not to do it. Even if your goal was to never be embarrassed of your style in old pictures, you'll still be embarrassed of your style in old pictures. There's no way around it. There are certain trends where we realize we're being super trendy, and what we're doing won't have staying power. That doesn't mean we shouldn't embrace that trend in the moment. For instance, a bunch of us had that emo swoosh haircut about 10 years ago. When we look back at pictures from that era, we don't say to ourselves, look at how wrong I was for having that haircut, I shouldn't have done that. Instead, we look back fondly on who we were in that stage in our lives, and the things we did and the friends we had when we had our emo swoosh haircuts. Your worst case scenario for being super trendy is in a few years you'll laugh at how cool you thought you looked. Considering how silly you think it looks now, your worst case scenario is you have a good time laughing at old pictures. Let that sink in. That's the fate you're trying to avoid by not letting yourself be involved in trends you think are cool. So the next time you avoid making a style choice, or actively avoid a trend because you think you'll be embarrassed by it later, just remember that your worst case scenario is you'll enjoy laughing at the pictures in a few years. In other words, don't take yourself so seriously. Enjoy being trendy. There's no real downside. Buttoning up every last button on your flannel shirt. I say we go back to only doing up the top button like we're in San Andreas. All you had to do was button the damn shirt CJ. Cash me outside girl. 
she'll be doing porn the second she turns 18. If I were running things for her, I would have her start training in an MMA gym and start taking fights against soccer moms with no training while she gains experience. Then after a few years when she's half decent start building a promotion around her. She already did the hard part, making people care about seeing her get her ass beat. Making people want to see you get an ass whooping is what made fighters like Cassius Clay Muhammad Ali, Mayweather, Tito Ortiz, and Chael Sonnen some of the most popular and well paid fighters of all time. The biggest names in pro wrestling are villains heels. Easier to make people hate you than love you. But either way they care and that's all that matters. If I told you she had an amateur MMA fight live streaming on World Star this Saturday, you would probably watch in hopes of seeing her get ducked up. Win or lose, you'll want to see it again. She's already the perfect villain. Just imagine if they found a super sweet girl everyone loved to compete against her. You could have docked her. Fill in the good girl's corner talking shit to help add some views. Crystal Ray is pretty good porn doppelganger for her if you're looking for a good hate fap session. I have a feeling that massive beards are going to become the creepy weirdo thing we look back on in the future. Like we currently look back on those 80s pictures with big ugly moustaches on their upper lip and can't help but think they were child molesters. If big hairy beard and top knot, I think you might have won the creep lottery of the future. Full beards have always been a style just now it is less of a lumberjack or rough wilderness look and more of a craft beer bib. I've had a beard for 10 years and the amount of people in the last couple of years who have said you only grow that to be trendy or will you shave it off when the celebrities do? Um no I've known you for years and I've always had a beard because I'm bald and without the beard I look like a big baby. You know this. I had this in your wedding photos from 10 years ago. Mandala tattoos are going to be the dolphin barbed wire tattoos of the 2010s. Good thing I just have these tattoos of the monster logo and this deer de los mutas skull unnecessary glasses. It might be just thing among annoying kids in my area, but recently I saw a lot of younger brothers friends wearing really ugly glasses. Very old fashioned. Not even the type you see in opticians. Apparently a lot of them don't even need glasses but they are wearing old pairs of glasses that they found and it has become a trend. To be fair, it will probably end sooner than 5 years a lot of people are calling it stupid. I call those Jeffrey Dahmer glasses. I like to associate ugly things with serial killers. It tends to turn people off right quick. Saying words like slay, yaris and thirsty, or thirsty as some like to do, it's already embarrassing. But maybe everyone would have caught on by then. We sounded equally stupid to people older than us when we were teens. It a lot of trends that are already over. After scrolling through this thread, I hope some of the people from this thread look back in 5 years and realize that shitting on things that don't affect them at all is cringy. People will find the most ridiculous things to vehemently hate on and it's stupid. The heckin' floof papa boy writing style meme. I browse lits on guys. It's like the new douche stamp. I've been accused of having one. But in my case it's a scar from a fight in high school. A fight I lost for the record. Honestly, nothing. Things are trendy and come in and out. I've never found it embarrassing to have subscribed to a trend at the time of it. I enjoy trends while acknowledging many of them are inherently silly. Just like I enjoy watching TV shows out of my preferred genres when everyone is talking about them. Trends are more about embracing that zeitgeist more than about the specifics of what the trend is. I think many people enjoy them for that reason. Which is fine and not embarrassing at all in my opinion iPhones. This is coming from someone who has only had iPhones for the last decade and is finally looking to switch. Apple hasn't innovated much since Steve Jobs passed. There are far better phones out there for less dollar sign. The decline is showing in functionality and shitty updates. In a few years, if they don't get their shit together, it will be really embarrassing to own an iPhone. I don't know. Everyone keeps saying this but I don't think iPhones are gonna go away. At least in America, I'm from Europe, where the user base is equally split. A lot of people have Android phones and a lot of others have iPhones. People are knowledgeable about many phone brands. And then I come to America where of all the people I met, only one had a Samsung. No one knew my Huawei brand and everyone defended Apple like it's some sacred thing. Those goddamn slides, especially the fluffy ones. I don't care what high-end brand name is plastered across them. 
they look horribly cheap and tacky. Edit for clarity. Because I've never seen brand names on burgers. I'm talking about these ugly ass things. Tiny burgers are delicious. And should never go out of style. Edit 2. Thanks for the correction. Guys. I meant slides. Not sliders. Man. Can I see why there was so much confusion about this one? I'd say vaping. I've known plenty of people who've used vaping to quit cigarettes. Which I think is okay. But I don't get the dank clouds bro culture. Wearing skinny pants that are too short with oversized shirts. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.